Hi, it's Ted. Thanks for tuning in to Tuesdays with Ted. Today, we are in St. Louis Park at the Tower Light, and I'm here with my friend Amanda. Hello. And uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about this place. I know I can tell you it's eight years old. I was here for the grand opening, and I was proud to represent several of the first clients that moved in. Uh, as you know, people come in and one of their one of their things that are halting them from moving is what the heck am I going to do with my house and all my stuff and all my this, who's going to do this? So, and as you know, that's what I take care of. So, right. so enough about times. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So not, but enough about me, really. Let's talk about me. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ted. You're welcome. I'm Amanda Williams. So I'm the director of sales and outreach, uh, with Tower Light on Wooddale. We'll be celebrating our eighth year wow. here in November and we actually still have some residents with us from that very beginning. Well I'd like it, it'd be interesting to see your resident list. I yeah. know you can't really show it to me but just just to see we have quite a still few. left. Yeah. I can tell you that a friend that's in the senior housing industry, mm -hmm. good friend of mine, was looking for her mother needed some memory care, not some memory care. Memory care, right. And she scouted, I don't know how many places all across the Twin Cities and chose this place out of all of them. She made a wise choice. Well, I was very impressed with her choice. I, not that I had anything to do with it, but mm -hmm. I agreed what a great place for mom. It's not the closest, but it's the, she thought the services and the surroundings and obviously um, Ebenezer, big supporter. Um, she thought this would be the best, and she's still living here. That one I know. Okay. But All name right. will be forever, exactly. never revealed. Yeah. Well, Tower Lake is, as you mentioned, an Ebenezer managed community. We're a continuum of care community, meaning we offer a lot of different things under one roof. So we have independent living apartments, and that's most of the people here are living independently. Okay. Then we do offer assisted living. You don't have to change apartments. You can just pick your apartment and you can switch from independent to assisted. And assisted living really means you're gonna get all of your meals, you're gonna get housekeeping, laundry, and then you can have access to the home care services through our nursing. Oh, well, that's really good, but they don't have to move from their apartment, which is really good. Because exactly. as you know, some places say, Ooh, now you got to go to the third floor. Now, right. If it's memory care, that's a, you know, that's a tougher decision to make, yet it's the easiest because you really do need that care. Right. You know, you know that. Yes. So we also do offer memory care. That's our second floor. It's a the completely, the second floor is memory care. Um, one thing that's a little unique, well, I think a lot of things are unique, but we have 10 one bedroom apartments in memory care. Uh -huh. So it's really nice, uh, it's a nice option for maybe a couple where one spouse needs memory care, maybe the other just needs assisted living, right. so they can live together comfortably right. in it, memory care. Well, that makes a lot of sense. It makes it so much easier and less expensive, obviously, because it, it does come up that uh, uh, a couple will move in independent and one starts to need services and then more services. Right. Um, and then, you know, hopefully it never gets to memory care, but. It's a nice option if, if it suits a certain couple's needs. Understood, yeah. yeah. And you've got criteria for all that, tests and all that stuff, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Pretty well thoroughly checked out before they even come in, I'm yes. sure. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we do assessments by our nurses. And then the other option we have here is we have eight enhanced care suites. So enhanced care is a little bit of a unique offering. Not all communities offer it, uh, but they're nice suites. It's set up kind of at the V of our building. So four suites on one side, four suites on the other with a nice common area for dining, living room. And enhanced care really offers people an alternative to skilled nursing care. Mm -hmm. There's um, a smaller ratio dedicated to helping the residents. So folks that maybe are on a long-term recovery or maybe folks that just need a lot of hands-on care, dressing, bathing, things like that, mm -hmm. it's a really nice option. Yes, it sounds like a really good option. So these days, um, I know you had a little COVID scare earlier. We did, like a lot of communities, we oh, had yeah. COVID, yeah. Um, sort of at the beginning of the pandemic, and then we had uh, some other cases in August. Interesting to see how different they were because we knew more. Right. So um, our residents, 
knock on wood in August, all of them recovered and actually did quite well. Uh, so we have been, I think, almost three months without COVID for residents or staff. Wonderful. Um, and one of the really nice things about being with Ebenezer, which is part of M Health Fairview. True have to get that out, um, is that we do have testing, regular testing of staff and residents Good. through the Fairview Swap Squad. Okay. I was, uh, I was screened properly and uh, of course I, was, I already had my mask on, mm -hmm. but then they gave me a face shield that thank you, we don't have to wear that for this interview. <laughs> But um, it's good that you were following, again, the, the steps to sort of prevent or back off COVID are real easy. The mask, the social distancing, right? That's right. Wear the mask, social distancing, wash your hands. Wash your hands. And don't spend a lot of time, uh, you know, in a crowded space with people. Right. So. One of the challenges of the communities these days is trying to assure people that it's better to live independently with within a community than it is to live independently at home. Mm -hmm. And I know in the summer, like we all say, well, we could go outside and we could do this. I'm very concerned about the winter months. So. Well, what we're doing here, so some of the things we're implementing is we, uh, we've gone back to, like I said, fitness, we're doing chaplain, the chaplain, we do social distance, but it's so popular, he's actually doing two services on Wednesdays for us. Yeah, uh, back to doing bingo, some music activities. So we're slowly bringing those back. But also, every day people have an opportunity in our building for some social, with coming to get the mail, talking to staff. Right. It's not to be overlooked. No, no, um, everyone's here friendly and, and just takes that extra time with our residents. Yeah. And even if you just want to take a walk, you can do that. You inside. certainly can, yes. Yeah. And we have a fitness room, so we have several people oh, you using do? That's the fitness right. yeah. equipment as well. And the, the nursery downstairs. They yes. had all these, they have a nursery <laughs> attached and their entry is right in the same entry as this building. So I'm waving at kids and three or four of them came over and did this kind of thing against the glass. Yes. Of course, the adult in the room left a nose print there too. I okay. Think, so. <laughs> I was waiting. I mean, let's play with the kids, right? right. But it's just so cool that you've mixed uh, the generations like that. Yes. So that is one of the absolute hallmarks of Tower Light is that we do have the intergenerational programming with yeah. the childcare that's been here since we opened. Right. Um, and it brings a tremendous amount of joy and benefit to both our seniors and to the children. Yeah. I think that I think that covers our minutes today. Um, I want to thank Amanda for uh, uh, hosting me today. Behind, we are, by the way... Uh, we're in a model apartment. We're in a model apartment. You can see the kitchen before, behind me. But um, um, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I don't know where I'll be next week. It doesn't matter. I know you'll be tuning in. So, <laughs> Amanda, thank you again. You want to say goodbye? Anything else you'd like to just say to the general public? Yeah, thank you. Ted for having me and coming to Spotlight Tower Light and I wish everyone uh, to be well and safe. Wear your uh, masks. Totally agree. Please stay well. We'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.